Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody back. Uh, it's early February. We're going to be doing a paint session today. We're going to be painting some glide baits. Uh, trying to up my game a little bit. We're going to really try to get into some high definitions, shad patterns that are very realistic, missing scales, kind of just old beat up shad. Uh, these glide baits, uh, especially in clear water situations like where I'm going to fish this bait, uh, those are slow moving baits and we want to make those as realistic as we can. I've got to improve my game. If you're interested in doing the same, come join me. We're going to spray some paint. All right. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Uh, kind of like the last few couple videos I put out there, but, uh, we're trying to advance our shad patterns a little bit and give them that kind of roughed up look. Uh, we're going to be using uh, a lot of different techniques and paints. These particular swim bait in this case, glide bait in this case, have got a very detailed kill pattern already on them. So what I'm going to start off with is, is getting a little bit of a black base down. Uh, I may have should have went with uh, at least up here toward the top. We're going to angle spray that uh, down the bait. Uh, what you didn't see is I covered these baits in a, uh, a bone color. I mixed some white with a little bit of sand and a little tiny bit of transparent yellow so that we could uh, get a good base color. And I'm just gonna lightly, on an angle, spray this black down the top half of that bait. Top of that tail as well. Now, as you can see, because these scales <clears throat> are a raised scale, very detailed scale that is leaving a little white down the back of those scales, which really makes them pop, okay? Puts a lot of detail in it and uh, really lets that that uh, scale pattern pop out and grab you a little bit and that's what we're looking for gives them a very three-dimensional look wow i have the black i'm gonna also just color in these around these eyes We want that to kind of grit, graduate out. Just get a little overspray. Cover the front nose of that bait. Because <clears throat> we're going to make this look roughed up. And uh, I'm going to try a little bit of a technique here that <clears throat> where we just kind of wipe some of that off. It's drying pretty quick today. Yeah, we'll come back with a little bit of water later and do that. Now I'm gonna come back from the other direction toward the top of this bait and just put down a little more white because I want to add some blues. Right. 
on this top edge. Still should be somewhat dark, somewhat muted. Come back a little bit this way. Opposite direction. You may not can see everything I'm doing here, but. Next thing up is I'm going to come back with some pearlized white. Now we've got to get these scales to really look lifelike. Both of these baits, I believe, are, are uh, <clears throat> the appropriate use of them, especially in clear water, is to, is to work them really slow, whether it's a slow twitch, uh, most generally just a very slow crank of your reel handle, uh, and get them to have that S-shaped swim to them, very lifelike, round docks, whatever, but clear water situations, we need them to look very lifelike. So, uh, pearlized white across these bellies of these scales is gonna get us exactly what we're looking for there. Cover that tail feathers just a little bit belly of this bait. I'm not heat setting on any of these because I want to get a good blend of our colors. Next color up we have is I want to come back over these lower scales uh, with a little bit of silver and a little bit at the top, pearl silver. And what that's doing is muting that a little bit down. They're a little bit darker up here toward the front and a little of that pearl silver over the black of the back. A bit on those tail. Uh, this particular pattern here, I'm gonna be looking for some gold our shad dot's going to be right around in here, and we want this upper part and a little bit of this back edge of this gill plate. I'm going to turn my pressure down. To 25 or so.
Now, the tricky part, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're going to use a wet paper towel, not super wet, and try to wipe away Yeah. Some random areas where it looks like that bait goes back down to that bone color. It just looks beat up, it just looks roughed up. May be extremely difficult to see, probably extremely difficult to see on camera <clears throat> with the light but it does look very good i mean it, it's it's giving them the appearance that some of those scales are knocked off probably on this one i ought to use a uh, few tip or something a little bit smaller maybe i don't know if any of you guys are using this technique let me know what you use The reason, that's the reason I went with that bone color is just to uh, try to wipe off these wetter coats that I have in heat set and get it back down to that to where it just, they just look worn. They look old, they look beat up, distressed. Um, forgot to do this one. And that's the look I'm trying to get. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, especially at the end here. But All right, we've got to add a uh, couple colors here. I'm going to swap out. I want a little bit of an iridescent blue toward the top. I'm just going to go a few drops of iridescent blue along with some uh, transparent base that might just dull that, mute that just a little bit. Now we're going to go very lightly. Above the gold. Come back with just a little bit more of the black. And darken just a few areas up of these scales. And I want it to be random, lightly at the bottom, just making it look bruised. shad dot. I'm going to move it right in front of this hook hanger. Good kill dot. Okay, now to really make this thing look a little bit different than the patterns I've been doing, I'm gonna randomize the uh, top of the baits. I'm gonna come over and leave that blue, but I'm gonna cover the top half of this with some
get a good heat set, see where we're at. See if we can get up close. See, when I was trying to get the, the scale look, we're, we're missing a few scales. We darkened a few at the belly. Uh, maybe you can tell a little bit more on this one. I don't know, it's something to build off of. Uh, anyway, we got two giant thread fin sheds, as I, I guess, on this one. I'm, with the gold, uh, <clears throat> I think put some good realistic eyes in there. I've got some of these, uh, got some of these good Jetson eyes, uh, different sizes. I think we'll have a winner. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, look at those. Let's just take a look here. Leave comments below. Uh, tell me what you think of these type. I'm trying to get some more realistic looking patterns that, uh, oh man. Yeah, that's gonna pop. That's gonna pop. Kind of the red or the, I'm thinking the silver. And when you get these eyes, it's kind of got that oblong point. Make sure that's always pointed toward the, these are lifelike eyes pointed toward the nose of the bait. Uh, anyway, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with that one this time. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate it, man. Guys, if you like this video, <clears throat> uh, please smash that thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Uh, and until next week, Green Country Baits, we'll catch you later.